Welcome back, folks. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. We know how to get the web off the little guy, but we don't know how to get a crystallized tear. And so, we depart. Um, I'm trying to think of tears. The only tears I can think off the top of my head were from that uh, banshee chick. Let's go back there and see if... Because I would bet... I would bet it has something to do with the ice lattice. It would be a very... crystally thing to do if you can combine it. Indeed. So maybe if we can... Ready Even if sail? she's not there, she cried in that water long enough and there's a stone there. That if we can... Maybe ice that up and then shears? I <laughs> I don't know, that's about as far as I got with my train of thought. I uh I actually took my sleeping pill in the last video. I am I've got work tonight, and I've already been up way too long playing this game. <laughs> oh god, my head. It's funny, I um I think I've mentioned it before in past videos. I cannot sleep, uh, like, straight through the night, or, in my case, through the day, because I'm a night shift person. I, ever since I was four years old, I always wake up. Oh, God! Oh, God, that actually startled me. <laughs> All right. Now, buddy. Oh, no, did I lock up again? Shoot, I think I did. I actually did find a fix for this, though. Very simple. We just save here, LP 10A, and we're gonna reload. Actually, just saving now. Um, let's see if I can use the crystallized the waters. So if I freeze the water and then maybe break, cut it with the shears. Graham considers it unfortunate. Really? That won't work. Although they stand silent and unpretentious, these rocks could hold the same or more knowledge than those of the sacred stones in the circle. And Graham can't help but wonder at the history in their cracks, their broken edges, their beaten skins. That wasn't the rock I looked at, though, so that... Time to go back exploring. <sighs> Alright, so it wasn't... And I, I don't think this is going to be the game to screw you over, that I, I had to... Well, no, because I couldn't get near her anyway. She was the only thing I can think of that was crying, though. Oh, oh. Valenice or Cosima. Although I don't think they're going to let me put, like, iceberg lettuce to their face. Look, let me just run through the islands again very quickly. I'll try and give little King's Quest bits as I'm going. Um, the Cliffs of Logic, as you heard from the story of the Pawn Keeper, if you weren't aware, something that was very common to do in older games uh, for the copyright protection was to uh, put the answer... You guys aren't crying at all, are the you? The guards ignore Graham. They don't look like they're crying. The guards ignore Graham. No, they, they don't look like they're crying. I wonder if I gotta find an onion or something. Actually, that's an idea. I may have to find an onion. Again, a, another very King's Quest-ish thing to do. Finding an onion. Ready to sail? And there is a garden that we do know of. So let us go there, at the Isle of Wonder. I don't remember off the top of my head if there are onions there, but that that could be something. If we use the onion on ourself, and then that could be something. Uh, as I was saying, something that was very famous to do in old games was to do copy protection by having an answer, a long complicated answer, or even short ones, in the instruction manual. So, 
we don't have onions. We've got these thingers. A crying cabbage. Graham actually prefers his coleslaw quiet. A crying cabbage? I was looking for onions, but... Yes? Yeah! I, I don't know why the they... The of the lettuce crystallizes the baby's tear, freezing it into a perfect teardrop-shaped icicle. That's... <laughs> it was kind of funny! I... completely... Okay. Let's go with it! We got... Crystallized here. Not from um onions, but this is saying copy protection, so long drawn out answers, etc. etc. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted on myself. Uh using the uh instruction manual of King's Quest Six, air today, gone tomorrow. Uh getting up the cliffs of logic, you actually needed to use the instruction manual to guide you up. Uh, and then you, there was, like, the puzzle you could solve there, but it was directly solved in the instruction manual. Um, generally, what they did with the copy protection in a lot of those games is they don't put it right at the very, very beginning. They'll put it a little bit in so that, you know, I guess you kind of get a taste for the game or something like that. And then, like, it's not a bad idea, actually, to put it a little bit in so you start getting into the game. And then, oh, I got to go buy it. Even though it's it's not the best copy protection for the time, it was, you know, what are you going to do? We will give you this. We're finally starting to make it somewhere, Can I think. Can you take this in exchange for this bottle? Yes, indeed. <laughs> King Ram, it melted! What is this? The butterfly flaps and stretches her wings, happy to be free again. Yay! <laughs> well, not really free again, because we're we're not letting you go. We're we're gonna use you now, and I think. Uh... Oh man, my brain is just swimming right now. <laughs> Sleeping pill kicks in very quickly. I can't stop playing though. I hate this game. <laughs> it. it what they've really done for me is I, it's conjured back so many great memories of King's Quest. And I know that's exactly what this team wanted to do. When you've Good got day, a fan-made project, the whole idea of a fan project Ready to is to you know, attract people to the originals. And uh, while some of them are unbelievably difficult and will no doubt make you tear your hair out if you, uh, if you don't use a walkthrough... Uh, the original King's Quest games really are great, great games. Um, King's Quest VI, especially, uh, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow, is just, it is such a masterpiece game. And it actually takes place in the same setting. So you'll recognize some famous parts. You no, know I didn't look around here that much, did I? Oh, this is where the oak was. Oh. As much as Graham is searching for some kind of warmth to keep his heart from growing cold and hopeless, even the very real fire in this pit burned out quite some time ago. Interesting. Well, the candlelight here with no flame? Why would... I don't know. It was an idea. It was an, a, the narration for King's Quest VI, though, was just absolutely amazingly done. Uh... uh it's like every item interaction they thought of and did something for. Okay. Now back to my original idea of you. See, look. I caught a butterfly and I let it go.
music seems a little overpowering right now. It's very overpowering right now. This is the Lady of the Butterflies? Weird. This is going to be a maze, isn't it? You, dear lady, and good guardian. This is going to be a maze, isn't it? Mist Forest is just not a... Oh, my brain can't handle a maze right now. <laughs> Maybe it's not a maze. Hi! And... It's the first time Graham has laid eyes on a tree that grows... Could it be emeralds? Amazing. One of the emeralds is strangely shaped like a crescent moon. <sighs> we need that. Can we take that? I should have talked to the tree first, shouldn't I have? Been like... Dryad. Who goes there? Oh god. My apologies, good tree. I did not mean to... Many travelers have also been entwined by their beauty. I did not mean to awaken you. Hush, Graham of Daventry. I have been asleep for many decades. It was about time to rise up once again. Are you under a spell? Not every tree is enchanted, Graham of Daventry. Just checking. You can never be too sure. <laughs> How do you know so much about me? And who are you? I am the nature spirit. I can see you always. For my roots expand and connect with every other tree, flower, plant. There is little I do not know. Then you know the reason for my visit, then. Poor little humans. It would break my heart if I had one. How fares Valenice of Daventry? If you know, good tree, you surely know the answer to that. This is true, I know. But there is a reason I ask you. What may that reason be? I see what you cannot, Graham of Daventry. Unless it pains you. My wife will be fine. She may be a little distressed, but she will recover. She's a strong woman. Strong, yes. Not invulnerable. Protect her. Watch her. Watch my child. Your child? What? You do not know. Druid blood runs through her veins. Bounties is of druid heritage? That's impossible. Is she? Yes. She is a lost child of mine. Go to her grave of Daventry. I cannot. You know well I wish I could be with her, but I must rescue my children. There is no tree without a seed. I shall not answer that next question. Farewell, Graham of Daventry. She's... Wait, milady, good tree. Oh, rats. <laughs> rats. What is that? This stone looks so. very similar to the stones in the sacred circle. They must be made from the same kind of rock. There's an inscription on this one. Blazes. It's extremely hot. Oh, can I? Why would Graham want to do that now? <laughs> Stupid timer. Damn it, I really gotta go to bed, but I can't. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.